This is Andrew Storm, my brand new Storm Wizard. His goal is to complete the game without using the bazaar, trading with my other characters, or using crowns. However, it's not that simple. Over the past few months, I have created a massive spreadsheet compiling the unique drops of all the side dungeons and skeleton key bosses. These not only must be fully completed by the end of the playthrough, they also must be completed in order. Along with this, I have compiled a list of items that must be crafted. Similarly, like the dungeons, these have to be crafted before I can progress to the next rank. Welcome to my storm walkthrough. So the only thing that I'm allowing myself to transfer over from another character and use the crown shot for technically is a mount um, and a pet just to speed things up because, um, you know, I don't want to be here all day. So our first goal of this series is to get to level 5 and into Old Town so we can start crafting. Crafting is going to be quite vital for us um, to start early. Since we can't use the bazaar, we need to get gear pretty quickly uh, for the dungeons coming up soon. And they're a little bit challenging, so we need some decentish gear to get us through. The first thing we had to do was complete Unicorn Way, which isn't very difficult. And after they've redone all of the quests there, it's actually super duper fast. And pretty quickly, we were facing up against Rattlebones. Give us something good. Lightning Strike, we'll take it. We will take it. Oh, we also get um, Lightning Bats while we're here, which is cool. Pixie, nice. Oh no, he's confused us. He is Storm. This is not good. This is not good. He probably resists, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Hey, sorry. No fizzle is good. Lovely. Love to see it. Nice work. GG. Easy clap, boys. Right, let's do crafting real fast. Um, or at least get the first thing. Um, because we have to get some mist wood. So the first <laughs> crafting recipe is to get mist wood. Um, and finding that can be sometimes a little bit painful if you're just looking for it. There is. Look, we did it. Man, epic. That is probably the fastest, other than going to the bazaar and buying mist wood, which you can do, um, that I've ever done that quest. Nice. Let's talk to Adora. Right, Razor's Edge. Dagger of Absolution. We need to buy the recipe, I believe. There we go. One. Um, and then we need to craft two of those. Which is um, four sapphires. Which we can buy here. Um, buy more. Boom. That's all we can afford. We have no gold now. Haha. <laughs> okay. Let, let's go quest again. So I went on and quested through Trident Avenue, not only just to get some more gold, but also to get some more levels, because next up we're going to be trying to get to level 12. Hundred and eighty-seven gold, which means we can probably get the last things that we need for the dagger of absolution, which is eight black coal. Um, boom, there we go, nice. Um, so basically, all we need now is to find another two mistwood and two cattails. But before we continue with our crafting adventure, I thought it was just about the right time to get a new spell. Charging the laden la jar. Ooh, it's a thunder snake. Oh, nice. And we got the power. Lovely. New spell, storm prism. Woo, yay. The best way to get missed one is, especially at this early level, is to kind of just go around here, seeing if we can find any. Um, there are a couple of spawns behind these houses. You just need to be a bit lucky, though. You need to be a bit lucky. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we're gonna get two. We only got one. This is so sad. This is so sad. I think there. Here's the Smith, by the way. Let's let's grab him. There it is. Right there. Boom. Lovely. There we go. That's our two mistwood. All that we need. We're also gonna get these deep mushrooms. Now we just need a another two cattails. Right. Here is my pro tip for getting uh, cattails. Over here. You, you go down this bit here. You go down this bit here. Usually there are some cattails in these bits. There may not be, but also the smith is just over here as well. So um, that's fun. Doesn't look like there's any here this time, which is a shame. We're just going to go up to the top as well and see if there's any up the top. There's one of them. There's one of them. We just need one more. 
one more. Let's change back to Dwarven and see if we can find it there. Maybe we can. Hopefully. There it is. Right there. Boom. Easy peasy. Now we can head over to our home and craft the two Daggers of Absolution. Absolutely. Um, do we have the crafting station? We do. Lovely. Let's place it there. Boom. Um, boom, boom, boom. Boom, bam. One and uh, two. Where all of them are in use. Here we go. Boom. Lovely. Let's go back to Gloria Crendel and talk to her. It's actually Adora, not Gloria. Whoopsies. Adora. I have got the two daggers of absolution. It's a very fantastic. And look, we can go into the Crocotopia crafting. There we go. That is the one, the first mission for today. Um, so yeah, let's go get to um, daily assignments, which needs level 12. So we're going to go and defeat a whole bunch of things in Cyclops Lane. <laughs> Rune Skull, first try. Woo! Let's go! Right, are we going to get the Warhorn Pass first try? This is the big question of the day. Well, there's the answer. We are! Oh, and the grid. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Okay. And then it was time for us to start Firecat Alley. <laughs> No! Why has this happened to me? No! No, no, no! No, this is so sad. And then came Prince Alec Gaines with Darrow, who, I'm not gonna lie, was a little bit difficult. Level up! Woo! Nice! We are now level 9! Sweet! Three more levels to go! And we also got new boots, which we are going to equip, because we are dying so quickly. And... two! Lovely! And Falgaze, that'll be fun. Said no one ever. We also need to open up Colossus Boulevard, so we're gonna get Colossus Trouble. So, um, here we go, opening up Colossus Boulevard. We're just going to decline that quest, though, because we don't actually need it. Huh, okie dokie. So there's actually another part of this quest for Trident Avenue, that is. Um, that's weird. I didn't realise that. Um, I think that might be because they might eventually rework Colo Cyclops Lane and Firecat Alley, and we'd have to report to him and then he'll give us this quest to go back to Merle and then Merle will continue. I guess that's what it is, but there's also another quest, so we might as well just get the 55 XP because all XP is good, and then we'll go back to Falgaze. Now, the next two fights, Falgaze and Lord Nightshade, they were painful. Falgaze wasn't too bad, but Lord Nightshade, holy moly, he did not fizzle. He was just unrelenting, and I was fizzling like crazy. It was not okay. Mans cannot fizzle. What the frick? But somehow I managed to complete the fight with only 23 health left, which honestly I'm pretty proud of. Yay, night side, amazing. 11 out of 10, love to see it. Nearly level 10, woo! Level 10! Yay, amazing. New spell. And we can go into Crocotopia, which we might have to do to get some more levels because we are five levels away from where we need to be. It's Storm Shark. Nice. Storm Shark. Love to see it. Right. First world. Here we go. Crocotopia. Amazing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. The other goal for this episode is to get to level 15. And let's just say that was painful. Level 11. Woo. Only four more levels to go. Nice. Lovely.
level up nice and guess what that is level 12 fantastic Whew. i'm actually really 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 excited about that we can do gardening now not that that's what we're doing today um we can also do monstrology as well but we are doing daily assignments right so for those of you who don't know Aegon stats is daily assignment man now you have to be level 12 in order to do this and we have to go and defeat uh Goblet scavengers which is why i had to go into or be able to get into colossus boulevard earlier um so yeah it's all coming together it's as if i know we also have 700 health now which is pretty epic pretty epic yay daily assignments unlock now you may be wondering why why daily assignments well if you see here um we, we can go and defeat a warhorn which we'll do later but um there's these chests that have cool things like participation trophies which we'll need eventually and also arena tickets which are going to be very 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 crucial um in order for a lot of things arena tickets are used to get energy gear um or fishing gear whatever one you want to call but we need 200 plus um 500 plus um 200 uh which is uh, you know you know at least 900 um arena tickets which currently we have zero but this is our way to get arena tickets without doing any actual gear or any actual pvp which is cool i like it a lot I like that a lot plus um we also need arena tickets to buy participation trophies which again we need later on in the line um so yeah it kind of all comes back to doing getting arena tickets um and you can do um pvp tournaments which i will be doing later but it's always good to have just a passive income of uh arena tickets so yeah let's go and do um the the warhorn pass not the warhorn pass let's defeat a warhorn for gravel and badge stuff yay first daily assignment ever completed and we're getting 100 gold so this also is a good way to get gold as well um and crowns but not that we're allowed to use them on this series um but yeah free gold is good 100 of it we are now not as poor we also have a new spell which is stormblade um however we have to defeat the iron golem now i don't know how well that will go but i think we might do that next next episode i think we might we might do that instead um but for now we're gonna go try and get to level 15 hopefully it doesn't take too long We got a gear upgrade. Nice. and that is level 15 amazing finally made it and that is also where we're going to be ending off this episode
we managed to get to level 15 um, we unlocked daily assignments and we have started our journey in crafting um, next episode we're gonna be getting good I think we've got a spell we've got other things that we need to do